Hello. This is a Saturday, February 16th, I believe, 16th. And did some good work here yesterday and day before, getting all that cleared out. Still got some other sticks I got to pick up and everything right in there. Uh, but that's, that's minor work. If they brought the, the carport today, we could put it there and have no problem. So I was going to load up all my firewood here. You know, I got those trees in the way, but I was going to get in there, kind of roll them out and load it up on the backhoe. Started me a good little fire in the fire pit there. Um, burn day, so we're good to go there. Uh, so got that going. And, you know, loaded up some little bit of firewood that I had right here, right in this area. Drove the backhoe over to my other area. This is looking good, isn't it? The frost on the tree. It's, it's 30, I don't know, 30, 29. It was 23 this morning, so I don't know if it's warmed up much. But anyway, uh, going to slope this down. I was driving the backhoe over with what little bit of firewood I had. And I got over here and loaded up some little, a little bit of cut wood, you know, that from this staging area over here. And, you know, just getting some work done getting some work done cold day just you know dress up get out do some light work backhoe's got a heater in it just jump in there when it gets too cold so i loaded up some there and then when i turned i noticed that after i of course i did it noticed it after i pulled over here and backed up and i pulled forward and lo and behold looky there yep one of those things that that stops you from getting work done right there flat tire so I don't have the big tools my my dad has the big tools take that off right now so I went up and uh, got the tools to take that off WD-40 did it so it would you know loosen up so I did that got it all loosened up you know now I'm gonna see if I can position this camera right here so I can take the rest of that off I didn't bring the tripod out but I'm gonna try to get that off load it onto my trailer which uh, this little trailer lord have mercy is done save me save me uh, i could take the pickup but it doesn't have a heater in it <laughs> so at least i don't think it does so i'm gonna try to position this camera right here there that looks good all right i'm gonna try to take this tire off these are one of the things that slows down the work that needs to be done on a property life happens you know and you just got to take care of it. That's just the way it is. That's, you can't get frustrated about it. can't get in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, more things go wrong. So I've kind of learned that. Wow. Came off easy. I don't know, guys. We're going to have to take this into the shop someplace. That's why I got the trailer. Take it in town to um, get this thing fixed. It's had a slow leak in it. And I guess just though the heat of 70 degrees two days ago, you know, 30, 20, probably 20 degrees last night, that did something to it. So I'm assuming, heck, I don't know. It may just be it's time, you know. It's time to, to go flat. Worked it all summer. You know, I've owned it, hadn't owned it a year yet, but. You know, just working it. So, put this in here. I got a block under there, I'll show you here in a second. should be able to squat this up in there, you know, do it the right way, shouldn't be a problem. He's leg, yep, up, and slide. Put it in the middle. Put my tail.
tailgate back on. I tell you what, having this Harbor Freight trailer saved me. You know, it's light enough I can pull behind my Nissan. It's doing, doing things. And I built these boards, obviously, so. I say obviously, it's like, to me it's obvious because I did it, but if you haven't bought one, they don't come with it. They do not come with it. It is cool out here today. A little bit of snowflakes falling. You know, not real big snow. Next Tuesday, I think, is when that's going to happen. So let me show you. I got that block under there, a piece of wood, in case, you know, the hydraulics relax a little bit, which sometimes it happens. That way it'll go down on that. I won't put that in the dirt. It'll go down on the block there. Okay, uh, now I just need to strap that in. Um, it's high enough. I don't, I don't know. I mean, heck, I should be fine. It ain't going to bounce out. Sure ain't going to bounce out, but I'll put two straps on it just because it's the way I do things. Try to keep it in the middle over that axle. That way the weight's there. So let me experiment with that a little bit. See what I can do. I don't know if that, that's too high, huh? Well, that right there is going to get the job done, that angle. Learning stuff, I tell you, not, you know, having it freeze and stuff out in California and all that good stuff. I just parked this trailer over there and let the thing down, the tongue down by the ground, and then you forget, well, if you got to use it and it's frozen, you can't use it. So I had to spend a little time messing with that you know you I grew up here so I you know I know about it it's just you forget I forgot sure did gotta keep things up out of the weather Otherwise, you're having to double work. I hate double work. Hate it. Hate, hate, hate double work. this down this way, crisscross another one. That way I kind of got one pulling the sideboards in. That way. No problems there. Run one across there. Got to make sure to get all this tight. And I guess I could do something like heavy it ain't gonna go anywhere definitely not gonna go anywhere just for my well-being you know one of those things if I go right there it might slide forward huh if I want that that's too much good enough right there good enough Good enough. Of course. Need to get that right there. There we go.
perfect. Look here, tie this one off to here. Not sure how much of you that you got, but there it's secured down. Shouldn't go anywhere. I mean, it might slide forward, which is fine. Because then it's at the front. And tongue way, but I'm not going to be going like crazy. So I'll probably, I'm going to put another one across it or something just in case. But all right, I got it. Got it on there. I'm going to shut that tailgate down. I'll, uh, pick back up I gotta go now nah, since I'm kind of new there I gotta go find myself a place to take it to get fixed you know see what happens there all right out all right he went into Shawnee uh, got the tire fixed cost me 20 bucks not bad I guess um, so now I'm gonna take it off Put it on, let's see what happens, huh? Gotta unload it out of that trailer first. Like I'd had to drive the pickup <coughs> into town, no heater, because it's still 31 degrees. So definitely would have been more uncomfortable. <coughs> Not necessarily, you know, harder, just more uncomfortable. Maybe I'll get it on there. Maybe it just went down just enough to make it perfect. I'll be doing that, and then I'm going to probably start it here in a second. Get it warmed up. started on here.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start it. Uh, let it warm up so that I'll be able to maneuver it. <clears throat> start that because I'm going to have to probably lift it up here a little bit, get those out of the way, lower it down so I can crank on the lug nuts.
talking about success and got it done. Uh, you know, I always talk about, you know, things just getting away, but what happens, it's okay. And that did come down on that log. That's what that's what was holding it up and in place there. So I'm glad I did that. Really appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully uh, we're emailing me and uh, Danny Designs. And when I designed that trailer and put the boards and stuff on there, I wasn't thinking that I was going to need it for a for a tire to run into. You know, to town from here, but when I designed it, you just don't know, huh? You just don't know. Some work out great, you just uh, don't know, and then some work out even better because it's unexpected and it works for you. So I'm pleased with it. Okay. Uh, please like and subscribe. D squared.